Hi there, it's Mrs. Neiman, and we are ready to do a little Mother Goose program for you today here at the library. I hope we can start having some in-person programs soon. Um, be watching on our Facebook page or um, maybe in the little Argus for some announcements about that. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to continue on with our online programs, just so you have something going on um, all through the summer to keep your baby um, interested in books and reading and some fun activities. Uh, before we start, I want to mention that there is a free program all Eddy County parents and children are eligible for uh, the children from zero to five years of age. It's called the um, Imagination Library of Eddy County. Um, it's sponsored in part by Dolly Parton. Um, and she offers to partner with different communities to provide free books in the mail for your child. So if you have a child from age zero to five, and I think the program ends when they turn five, um, it's meant to, to build up a little library at your house for your child so that you never are without books in your home to read with your little ones. Um, just to let you know, we have some of these sign-up cards. Uh, there's room to add two young children on the back of a single card. And then you just mail your form in to this local address and you'll start receiving books in the mail, one per month. And these are very nice quality books. I think I've had a lot of feedback from parents who've signed up and they love them. I think that it's a really great program. So I hope you can take part in that. So let's get started. Um, we're going to do our first little rhymes together. I uh, usually say the rhymes two times, so you can listen along the first time and repeat after me the second time. Repeat it along with me if you don't know the rhyme already. If you do know it already, just say it both times. We are going to also use um, a little scarf and a shaker today. I have some scarf and shaker packs at the library if you'd like to pick one up. No charge, just come and get one. All right, so let's get started. Old Mother Goose, when she used to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Old Mother Goose, when she used to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. But spouts, goosey, goosey gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. Goosey, goosey gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. All right, I'm going to put little goose back down there. Next, let's do a little song together. Can you guess what song? Did you guess Twinkle Twinkle? If you did, you're right. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. All right. I've got a little puppet to share with you. It's our little mouse who runs up the clock. Yes, hickory dickory dock. Let's do it together. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one bong and down he did run. Hickory dickory dock. Let's do it again. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to share a little board book with you. This one is based on a favorite fairy tale, Cinderella, and it is set in uh, Spain, I believe, is the setting for this one. So, so this is a cool little series called Once Upon a World. And each of the fairy tales takes place in a different setting. So it's kind of fun to see the different illustrations. Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in a little cottage with her stepmother and two stepsisters. The girl was kind and caring, and she had a good heart. Oh, but her stepmother was cruel. 
made the girl sweep the floors and clean the fireplace like a servant, and every day the girl became dirtier from all of the chores she was doing. She just never got a rest because she was always covered in dust from the floors and cinder from the fireplaces. Her wicked stepsisters called her Cinderella. One day, while Cinderella was scrubbing the walls, there was a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. It was the king's messenger. Cinderella listened in to the conversation. The messenger said, there will be a grand ball at the palace and all the ladies of the kingdom are invited. Cinderella's stepmother went straight to the marketplace and she bought the most beautiful fabrics and ribbons and jewels that she could find. Here, Cinderella, she said when she returned, now you will sew us three fabulous dresses to go to the ball. Cinderella spent all day and all night sewing the dresses. Finally, as the sun began to rise, she finished. Her stepsisters marveled at their beautiful gowns. Cinderella wished she could go to the ball with them, but she knew her stepmother would never allow it. So she got back to her chores. No party for Cinderella. That night, Cinderella bid farewell to her stepmother and stepsisters as they left for the ball. When they had disappeared from view, poor Cinderella fell down in tears. Suddenly, she heard a voice. My dear, what's all this crying? Cinderella wiped her eyes, and she saw a kind-looking woman who seemed to be floating. She was shiny and sparkling and holding a wand. Who are you, Cinderella said. Well, I'm your fairy godmother, said the woman. Tell me what you wish for, my dear. I wish to go to the ball, said Cinderella. The fairy godmother smiled, and with a few flicks of her wand, things around them suddenly began to shine. Poof, a pumpkin became a beautiful coat. Poof, three mice became horses. And one more poof, the old farm dog became a handsome coachman. Finally, poof. Cinderella's tattered dress became a magnificent ball gown, and her old shoes became delicate slippers made of glass. As Cinderella stepped into the carriage, her fairy godmother said, This magic will wear off at midnight. You must return before then. And off the carriage went. When Cinderella arrived at the palace, everyone thought she was a beautiful princess from a faraway land. They all wanted to talk and dine and dance with her. Even Cinderella's own stepsisters. But it was the charming prince of the kingdom who asked her for a dance. Cinderella and the prince danced for hours. Please tell me your name, said the prince. But just as Cinderella was about to answer, the clock struck midnight. The spell would soon be broken. Without another word, Cinderella hurried away, accidentally leaving one of her glass slippers behind on the palace steps. She raced home, and as the spell wore off, her beautiful gown turned back into rags. The next day, Cinderella's stepsisters told her all about the ball and the mysterious princess who had captured the prince's attention. They were jealous of this mystery girl. Suddenly, there was again a knock at the door, and once again, the king's messenger was there. But this time he was with the prince. The prince was searching for the young woman he had danced with. He was determined that each lady in the kingdom would try on the glass slipper until he found its owner. Both of Cinderella's stepsisters tried on the shoe. It was teeny tiny on the first stepsister's foot and it was much too big on the other stepsister's foot. Then Cinderella came into the room. The stepsisters thought it would be funny to have her try on the slipper. After all, it would never fit Cinderella. Try it, Cinderella, they encouraged, laughing. But when the prince slipped the shoe onto Cinderella's foot, it was a perfect fit. The prince recognized her instantly, even without her beautiful ball gown and sparkling jewels. Cinderella's true beauty shined through. Cinderella and the prince embraced 
and they enjoyed the, the fact that they had found each other. Then in the castle where they had met, Cinderella and the prince lived happily ever after. The end. I hope you enjoyed that little retelling of a famous fairy tale. Next, let's do a little song together. This one is Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And if you want to, you could make some rowing motions and some uh, water motions, okay? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I brought my little turtle friend so we can sing the turtle song. Okay, so when we do this song, we hold up our hand like this and our thumb becomes the little turtle. I have a little turtle. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate a bar of soap and now he's in his bed with bubbles in his throat. Now we do a bubble. Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> did you pop the bubble? Pop. Yes, you did. All right. Let's do this little rhyme. It's called, I have two little eyes. See this baby? He's got two little eyes. He's got two little ears. He's got a little nose and a little mouth, just like you. I have two little eyes to look around, two little ears to hear each sound, one little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that likes to eat. Again, I have two little eyes to look around, two little ears to hear each sound, one little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that likes to eat. Very good. What's some other things you do with your mouth? You can eat. You can talk, you can sing, um, and oh, you can give kisses too, like that. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna do a little song about a teapot. So when we do this song, uh, I'm gonna back up just a little bit, uh, we're going to use one hand for our handle and one hand for our spout, okay? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Very good, all right. Now we're going to do a little baby game. You would play this game on your baby's hand like this, okay? It's called Round and Round the Garden. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two steps, tickle you under there. Let's do that again. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two steps, tickle you under there. Does that tickle? <laughs> Did your mommy tickle you? Or maybe you're sitting today with grandpa or grandma or auntie, whoever it is, I hope you're having fun. All right, let's do another one. This one is called, Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush. I see all these little animals. Here's rabbit and deer and raccoon. I am not sure what this animal is. Maybe it's, um, I have no idea, kind of like a little squirrel animal. Okay. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair so early in the morning. This is the way we put on our clothes, put on our clothes, put on our clothes. This is the way we put on our clothes so early in the morning. This is the way we drink our juice, drink our juice, drink our juice. This is the way we drink our juice so early in the morning. This is the way we eat our food, eat our food, eat our food. 
This is the way we eat our food so early in the morning. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning. Very good. Okay, let's do another one. We're going to do um, a couple of bouncy rhymes if you want to have your baby on your lap. So our first one is a little rhyme about bouncing with a horsey. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off, but Uncle John went on and on. Let's do that again. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off, but Uncle John went on and on. Okay, here's one called Bumpin' Up and Down in My Little Red Wagon. Bumpin' up and down in my little red wagon. Bumpin' up and down in my little red wagon. Bumpin' up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? Good. All right, one more. This one's called Uppity Up. You can see this dad is lifting his baby high in the air. <clears throat> Here we go, Uppity Up. Here we go, Downity Down. Here we go, Uppity Up, with the sweetest baby in town. Are you the sweetest baby? Hmm, let me take a look. I think you are. Here we go, Uppity Up. Here we go, Downity Down. Here we go, uppity up, with the sweetest baby in town. Yes. All right. Next, we're going to do something with our little drum. Usually in person when we do this, I let the babies have a turn tapping the drum too. We tap out names. My name is Mrs. Neiman. You can do this at home just by clapping out the syllables, the sounds in your name. So maybe your name is Sophia. Maybe it's Olivia. Maybe it is Caleb. Maybe it's Jacob. Maybe it's John. Maybe it's Maria. You can tap out your name so your little baby can get the idea of the sound of syllables. All right, let's do a little marching to the drum. You want to stand up or you can just stay where you are and bounce along with the rhythm. We're marching to the drum. We're marching to the drum. Hi ho the dario. We're marching to the drum. We're swaying to the drum. We're swaying to the drum. Hi ho the dario. We're swaying to the drum. And now here we're going to say turning if you want to turn around. We're turning to the drum. We're turning to the drum. Hi ho the dario. We're turning to the drum. And now we're going to bounce. We're bouncing to the drum. We're bouncing to the drum. Hi ho the dario. We're bouncing to the drum. The drum says stop. Can you say stop with me? One, two, three, stop. Good. All right, I'm going to put that down. And we're going to read another book. This is a short book about Maisie the mouse and about her first colors. Look at all those bright colors. This is the color red. Maisie likes red apples. So juicy and good. One, two, three, four apples. Look at this color. It's beautiful orange. And what kind of animal do we have here? A little duck. A basket full of oranges, Tallulah's favorite food. Let's count those oranges. One, two, three, four in a basket. What's the next color? Yellow. Charlie's picked bananas, a big yellow bunch. How many does he have? One, two, three, and four. What kind of an animal is Charlie? Charlie is an alligator or a crocodile. What color is this? This is green. Green pears for cereal. Munch, munch, munch. One, two, three, four. What kind of animal is cereal? 
He's a squirrel. What color do we have here? Blue. A yummy blue ice pop is Eddie's special treat. He's only got one there. What kind of an animal is Eddie? He's an elephant. Come on, everybody. It's a picnic, so let's eat. Let's review these colors. Blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Those are the colors we learned. We have some more books about Maisie at the library if you want to read them. Now, you might have noticed when I was reading, I was ask, ask, adding a few things that weren't there. We were counting. And I also asked what kind of animals we were looking at. This is because we should, when we're reading to kids, we should get in the habit of asking questions. So it's not a passive activity, but your baby or toddler is also pointing to things or noticing things in the pictures. And even when you're not reading, you could be doing this. You can ask the babies to point to things as you're going through the grocery store, or you can talk about the weather or notice different animals when you go out on your walk. So there's lots of ways to add some extra vocabulary to your baby's day. And this is terrific help for them when they're getting ready to go to school in a few years. All right, let's do a little game. I have a rubber duck here. And I have a little game that I want to play. It's called When Ducks Get Up in the Morning. Now, there might not be a duck in here, but we do have some animals in here. Let's see who we've got. Oh, I've got a puppy dog here. Cute Dalmatian. Hi, puppy dog. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. Woof, woof, woof. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, let's see what else we have in that bag. Oh boy, I see another animal in here. Who is it? It's Curious George. What kind of an animal is Curious George? Curious George is a little monkey. When monkeys get up in the morning, they always say good day. When monkeys get up in the morning, they always say good day. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. When monkeys get up in the morning, they always say good day. All right. I think I have one more animal. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. It's a dolphin. What does a dolphin say? Maybe the dolphin could say splash, splash, splash. When dolphins get up in the morning, they always say good day. When dolphins get up in the morning, they always say good day. Splash, splash, splash. When dolphins get up in the morning, they always say good day. Can you see that dolphin? <laughs> All right. Next, we want to do something with some music again here. So if you have a shaker at home, like this, <clears throat> we'll use it. If you have something else that's different, that's fine. Any kind of little rattle or noisemaker will do. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna use the word eggs because this is an egg-shaped shaker. We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. I'm going to take a little sip here. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. All right. <coughs> Let's do it this. Shake them up high. Shake them down low. Shake them in the middle. Shake them up high. Shake them down low. <coughs> shake them in the middle. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and we'll sing together, <clears throat> if I can get my voice back. <laughs> there, okay, let's do, are you sleeping? 
Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Very good. All right, now we're going to get out a little scarf. Now, what if you don't, what if you don't have a scarf? You could use um, a bandana or a handkerchief or a little soft towel or something like that. Just something that you can wave around a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna get my little cat puppet out here. So we're going to try a couple of motions here. Let's try waving our scarves up high and up and down like this. Okay, good. And then let's try waving them. Let's see. Let's try waving them back and forth like this. And then let's try throwing our scarf up in the air and catching it. We can do that. Okay, good. We wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. We wave them up and down, wave them up and down, wave them up and down because it's fun to do. We wave them side to side, wave them side to side, wave them side to side because it's fun to do. We throw them in the air, throw them in the air, Throw them in the air because it's fun to do. All right, now I want to do a little song with you, and it's called Pop Goes the Weasel. I have a picture of a weasel here. There he is. He's kind of cute, isn't he? So uh, we'll do it a couple times, but when we say pop, we want to throw our scarves up into the air, okay? And you, up until that point, you can just wave them around, okay? All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought was all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. Let's do it again. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought was all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. Kind of fun to throw a scarf up and catch it, isn't it? And I do have, as if I didn't mention it already, I do have some extra scarves and egg kits if you want to pick that up at the library. So now let's just get our babies on our laps. I'm going to get my little goose and we will do a lullaby, rockabye baby. Rockabye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all meant to do a little a little huggy song like that isn't it okay normally when we're here in person I let the kids come up to the front and try this flannel board when we do a person an in-person program they're often very curious about all the things I'm pulling out to use like the puppets and the pictures and all this sort of thing so I always make time at the end to give them a chance to touch something now we aren't in person today, so I'll have to do this myself. All right, let's do Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Let's do that one more time. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So this little thing is fun for the kids to come up and grab Humpty and make him fall off of the wall. They kind of like to do that. All right, now we're going to, I'm going to sit back in my chair a little bit, put my feet out in front of me, and we're going to sing a little quick song. Can you kick with two feet, two feet, two feet? Can you kick with two feet? Kick, 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 kick. Can you clap with two hands, two hands, two hands? Can you clap with two hands, can you kiss with two lips? Two lips. Two lips. Can you kiss with two lips? Kiss, 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 kiss. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the program. 
stop by the library anytime to pick up some books to read at home, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.